Well, hello, adventurers and adventure seekers and storm hunker downerers. Um, perfect English on my part. We're back with Dark Lord's Fear 2, Fiendish Boogaloo, although I do like to call it Electric Boogaloo because it just rolls off the tongue. But I will hand this over to our dungeon master so he can give us a bit of a summary and where we are moving forward. Thank you very much, Captain Drusif. Uh, just checking real quick, uh, is the stream currently on Twitch or on YouTube? It's on Twitch. Okay. I am trying to find it. It, I mean, it just, it, there's a delay, so it takes some time. Ah, there it is. If it's such a delay, how come I can hear you right on time? Because we're, we're, we're in Discord. <laughs> 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 Okay, so yes, Magic. like uh, my my friend has uh, has told me, um, so the adventurers were told by the oracle in another hallucination uh, of for for blunt sword bottle foot uh, to travel to the kingdom of Corodia to the capital city of Osters. There they would find what it was necessary to defeat and regain uh, the city, the capital city, uh, in which that was burned down recently. Uh, they traveled aboard the ship, the Raptor, with the captain, uh, Songate, Songsteel, sorry. Yep. And his, <coughs> excuse me, his first mate, Bjorn. Uh, the adventurers learned how to use the cannons, and they fired valiantly. Unfortunately, the mast was destroyed, fell on top of the ship, and they were knocked out. So they washed upon a shore of an unknown land mm. where they currently reside. They made their way up the beachhead, dealt with a couple of kobolds and local uh, monsters of the sort, and they are pushing further and deeper into the forest. Mm -hmm. and that is where we take our adventurers today. Nightfall has struck in the island, and visibility as a, is at a very minimum. There's only one important part that you missed, and that is Goldie and I were boogie boarding through the wreckage. Oh, we were having a blast. Having fun. Yeah, having fun. It's a lot of know, fun. A lot of fun. Soaking it up. Uh, he tried to seduce one of the locals. I <laughs> almost fell for it. There was a lot of confusion there. I remember that being was, quite frustrating. <laughs> uh, confusion, definitely. Again, a lot of tongue play. Yes. Tongue play. <laughs> Always. Yes. When, when it comes to the three of us, we, we pride ourselves, honestly, on our tongue play. <laughs> mm. choked, um, on my, uh, choked on my water. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pride uh, of tongue play. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, you, you guys did advance to the level of four. Um, yeah. Do we need to update so, that? I, I've already gone through and updated. It wasn't a whole lot. Uh, you guys have received two new additional feats. So at the bottom of your character sheet... Bench. Okay. What do you bench? Now? What's my bench press now? I'm level four. Your bench. Well, what was your bench press before? Three hundred five. Three hundred five. Well, you're up to three fifty. So I mean, you can max out three fifty. It's just pretty good. Nice. You shouldn't max though. It's just. So Goldilocks, uh, <laughs> I gave you the Jack of All Trades that adds uh, two to all untrained skill checks. Okay. So it, it's kind. Of, it kind of buffs you up. And Blunt. Um, and I can edit this if, if need be, if you don't want this one, I went ahead and gave you dual wield fighting. So if for whatever reason you find another scimitar, uh, you will deal additional damage if you're using two weapons. Scimitar! Did you give him jack of all trades because he was doing such poopy rolls? Maybe. I was kind of <laughs> suspecting that. <laughs> Quite honestly, I gave him jack of all trades because the other feats for warlocks... Uh, are, are pretty trashy. Oh. Uh, yeah. And, and That's cool. Frankly, inappropriate to be streamed. Well, you, you know, yeah. Uh, Dickus Growis is not really appropriate. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no <it's... laughs> and you know what? It just, it it only adds a couple centimeters. It doesn't even do a whole oh, and... We're not even talking inches here. Jeez. Yeah, right? Like, it's, we're not even talking US system. We're talking fucking SI units, right? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I only operate in freedom units. Imperial. America. America. Okay, anyways. Um, anyways. Fo Fog of War is working, so our dungeon master is not nearly as salty. 
God, I was pissed. Yeah. Uh, I'm paying I'm paying ten dollars a month for this service and it blah blah blah. You know what? It's it's user error. It's always user error. Well, it it was something, but we got it working. Um so I, yeah, I with, with this feature I will say with your characters, I will ask that you don't just randomly place your characters wherever. It's supposed to be more of a flow of a storyline, so you're not kinda you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, you know, that's fine. That's why I stayed right here and I was playing right here and I'm sure, I'm I'll gradually know, moving like, up. He went on a door of the explorer, the adventure. Yeah, I mean, when in doubt, follow the road. That's where I'm on. I'm on the road. So wait, how are we on a road? Last time I checked, we were on a tiki beach, trying to seduce people, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess the adventurers will have to find out what you know, is going on. You know how tiki beaches go. You know, you build a bonfire, you do a little dance, you drink some rum. You wake up in a completely different area. You know, it's it's pretty common, I feel. I do know that I have some bloodied hands on my shield. Yeah, that is a fact. Um, Which, and... we might have to reconsider your feet if you want to keep the shield with the hands on it. No, it's okay. I'll put them on my breastplate. If he I can wear it on his back. Weapon. Like a little cover. Kind of like in PUBG, where you put the, the skillet that covers your butt. No, I'll Ping. put it on my chest. You're gonna you're gonna wear a shield on your chest. No, I'm gonna wear the fingers on my chest. Duh. Oh, okay. Well, wh whatever floats your boat. Anyways, the I feel other, like we should continue. The, the other news I wanted to say is I went ahead and I actually found my monster manual. And so, if for whatever reason you guys are sneaking and you come across a monster or whatnot, uh, certain skill checks will give you information on what you're fighting. What about seduction? Se seduction will um, <laughs> seduce them, for lack of a better word. Only if they speak English, apparently. I can't seduce lizards, even symbolically. Oh, you got, uh, you got me pretty close. Not gonna lie. Well, I, I wasn't even trying to seduce you. Like, <laughs> you got to Okay, so <laughs> it's I'm a hungry, perfect I'm thirsty, I want to find, I need I need something to eat, I need something to drink. Alright, well let's continue onward. Hello? Hello? The path is safe. Is this a, is this a town? It looks like a forest. We might be in the Amazon, for all I know. Out of the bushes, two Oh monsters. no, God! <laughs> Come out and attack. I, I got oh, I don't have my dice. Oh no, I'm not ready. <laughs> Wait, where are they? They're by me. Hi, excuse me. Uh, we're a little hungry and thirsty. We just uh, wrecked off the shore. So I, I guess if you could help me um, in finding a new place. To maybe. <laughs> Goldilocks, what's your AC? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My oh. AC is thirteen. All right, and blunt. Mine's twenty-three. Alright, one second. I play a tune to buff our AC. You're not a bard, you can't play. <laughs> no, it, it's it's kind of like that, but think of it more of uh, like a guitar hero, like a click, 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 click. Right. Uh, I was going to play Flight of the Valkyries, but... Uh... Oh. It takes so long. You'd be dead by the time you get to the actual <laughs> crescendo. I actually play accordion. I don't, I don't play a lute or anything. Uh, <laughs> so the kobold nearest to Blunt does eight damage. Ow! To who? To you. Ah, no, Shisa. No, 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 no. To, to Goldie. To Shisa. The, the second monster attacks and misses Blunt. Oh, thank God. He is kind of the tank. Well, that's over. Do, I, uh, do we? How do we? Who goes first? Uh, I, well, considering it was Blunt who discovered them. No, it was first? me. Yeah, it was Goldie. Uh, Goldie, uh, Goldie. Was Sorry, them. Goldie. Goldie would Goldie then. Goldie said, "Hey, there's some monsters here," and I walked up, tried to be friendly, and then all of a sudden they started stabbing my yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they appear to be of the same class. So, excuse me, I will. I will cast a Hellish Rebuke on the left, whatever, dude. Not sure what he is. Uh-oh. 
Jesus Christ, my rolls just <laughs> suck. <laughs> These are terrible Miss. rolls. Yeah, of course I missed. <laughs> no, no way. That's impossible. I'm not fighting toddlers here. Like, so, I'm pretty pissed off that they just stabbed my friend. And then I'm double pissed off because you just sputtered out some flames and it just landed on the stones. So I, I was like, bleh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bleh. Bleh. <laughs> you deal 18, or you deal 8 damage. Oh, yeah. I gotta, nice. I gotta get another piece of paper. One second. That's I fine. am salivating at the thought of these hands on my shield. Some papel. Um, so one of the cool features of this website is the ability to uh, track health points on characters and health bars. The problem is uh, it takes a lot of bandwidth. Yeah, well, yeah it does. I mean, it, I mean, can you blame it? I mean, it's that's high quality graphics. <sighs> so high quality. And I have my uh, trucker gunners on right now, so that way I can uh, I'm seeing high definition. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm having to do this the old-fashioned way and uh, do it by hand. So well, I, I apologize. I feel like Ew. it's an effective method. Um, it, it, it works all the same. Uh, I, I trust that you gentlemen will uh, track points. Or do you need me to? Hit point? I can, yeah, I can, I can do that. If you give me a warning, I'll track it. I have a big I see, I'm down here. eight, I think. Um, uh, da, 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 da. So that puts me at 20... Four. Oh man, you're dead. I'll just put you down. My max is 32. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Do, do, do. I'm keeping notes here on on my side I'm using. Go ahead and take another 10 away. And the second oh. monster <laughs> misses as well. Okay. So I think that's half health though. I think he's uh, half health. E e I'm slightly under half, actually. That puts me at 14 uh -oh. of 32. You know what that means? Um, that means I'm pretty upset, and I am going to cast Eldritch. No, I don't want to kill my brethren here. Yeah, uh, please don't kill me. On the left, I will cast Hellish Rebuke yet again, hopefully to a greater effect. That's a bit better, although the damage is lacking. I don't know. That's a crit damage. Is that what that means when it's in red? It's a crit uh, four? It means it, you you rolled a, a one, which means you critically failed. Uh, what? If you For a four? No, if you if you look oh, over... No, it you, is. I you see how the, it's got I the red box the around it? Yeah. I looked at you the rolled code. a one. <laughs> uh, but it says 16. Against reflex. It. Yeah, so I only do... So I do four damage. Hold if, on, Blaine... What is your reflex? My reflex is... Uh-oh. My reflex is 15. Okay. One second. I mean, that's not bad. Um... No, but you rolled a 16. I'm not fighting you, though. Yeah, yeah but, but you rolled... rolled you, critical. You, you critically failed, so... And because he's in that oh, area... Oh, God. You critically blew fire in my eyes, you punk. Why the, the good news is... You, you, you only dealt uh, you only dealt one damage. I don't know how I rolled that. To who? Well, what's your What's your constitution modifier, Drew? My constitution. Yeah, because you're really focused. Oh my god! Get I'm, in the game. I'm uh, I'm so my constitution my score is seventeen. Oh, uh, the modifier is three. All right. So blunt, you take four damage from your ally. What the? <laughs> I, don't know. Well, I, need you, I need you to relax, Goldie. I'm going to take so a step I'm, back I'm and pretty, just... I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. I just got flamed in the face. Because, yeah, what did you, what spell did you use? That was Hellish Rebuke. I didn't yeah, think you, that was an AoE. I guess I just critically hellish, failed and I missed. You missed. Yeah. You, missed. Yeah. you hellished me in the face, so now I'm, now I'm doing a... Uh, a covering attack. So if I had attacked the right guy, I guess that wouldn't have done anything to him. Miss. Oh, damn it. No, no, no. You can you can move back, Blunt. Or, uh, Goldie. Okay. I just can't see the dude because of the fog of war. So oh. Just... Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, you can. You, wait, you can't see him. I can see him now because he moved. Hang him. on, I, I want to test some. Oh yeah, you can. I only I only moved to space. Like the there's very limited vision. Hold on, let me see if I can improve. No, no, I don't oh, mind it. Here we go. No, no, no. Oh, this is Cole, where it all falls no, apart. Just leave it. Just, just leave it. It works. I'm, okay. I'm, all I have to do is just add. Okay. Okay. Nope. Just, it's all gone. Dude, Twelve. Here we go. He'll see everything. And nine. All right. Boo, is that better? Uh. Yeah, you can see them. Yeah, I can kind of see. They're faint, but. See, I'm uh. But that's that's. Good. You're doing drastic changes. Just do a space. I I can't. It's based off of feet and the spaces. I'm talking are... about uh blunt. Oh. So there's an aggro change. So has he gathered aggro? Yeah, so both the spearmen are now on him, and I'm rolling both players against him. Miss. Yeah, they may have been attracted to me after they saw my shield. I don't know why. Miss. They both miss. Okay. Yeah, because they were horrified because they saw their mothers and grandmothers' <laughs> hands on the shield. All right. I, I cast Eldritch Blast at the one directly in front of me. Oh. Critically failed again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Goldie, I need you to relax, all right? <laughs> the dice are not in my favor. Splits through between Blunt and the monster. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, we, and, and it goes right between our, our heads, and we both look back at him like, what's What are you problem? doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is your like, malfunction? I can almost make out their their tongue dialects that they're saying. Are you are you even with him? Like like if you want to join up, like hey. Yeah yeah no kidding. So I'm gonna bash this one because he's he's really annoying me. The one that's uh above me. <sighs> right. Wait. So explain how I critically failed again. When you so remember the dice, me boy. When you roll a twenty-sided dice, so it rolls a twenty-sided dice. Okay. Adds any modifiers. Okay. And it gives you your number versus reflex, number versus AC, number versus dexterity, whatever. Right. Yeah. If that number is not high enough, you fail. If okay. it is, the damage is applied. If not, it's not. But okay. if you roll on that twenty-sided dice, if you rolled a twenty, and it was. I, I don't. We might see it tonight, but probably not from you because you are doing terribly. But if you roll a twenty, it's it's supposed to be a critical success, and uh, you get the choice of either doubling your damage or rolling mm. it again. Well, I, given my knowledge of how love, Vegas works, it. it always goes really well the next time. What I love is <laughs> you, you want me to you want me to like teach you statistics? Is that what you're asking? Like, do you, no, do you want me to? I am. That is. Can you, that was can with you a huge slash s. Title? Can you change the Twitch title to Statistic Talk? <laughs> we'll, we'll just launch into our podcast. We'll, we'll talk about Z scores and. <laughs> What's funny is we're making fun of him for it, and there's nothing he can do about it. Like all he can do is press the button and hope it changes. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just a freaking dice roll. Like, I mean, I might as well be at a craps table, you know. You can like, always, <laughs> you can always. So on the on the what? Uh, longitudinal bar, second to the last one, you can physically roll a twenty sided dice. No, but I like the the integration where it automatically yes. kind of. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good, I'm fine. The, the rolls are the rolls. This is what's happening. Let's, you gotta roll with them. Exactly. Roll with them. Yes, this is the game. I need to build a backup character. Um. Oh, so Lux, <laughs> you push one one monster back. I'm having a hard time collecting him. So he he's moved back one space after you swung your sword mightily. Yes. No, uh, I I bashed him with my shield. You bashed him with your shield. So he went he went icky because he got someone's dead hand on his face. It's like, Ooh, gross. Like Syphilis. Up. It's like, what the heck is wrong with this thing? Who is he? Al Capone? He got blasted <laughs> in the face by his ally. He's throwing fingers at me. So many fingers. Okay. Um, let's let's see what these... Are these kobolds? Again? You have to roll a skill check. Okay, fine. Forget it. I don't care. Well, it's, it's just a nature check. You can roll it right now. Uh, okay. 
Let me it's, just... it's not a major action. Okay, let me let me double check. This might help my rolls. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, You're my nature is your... terrible. You're waste your natural twenty. You cannot discern any information. Either. <laughs> and you whisper to me, "I think they're lizards." <laughs> <laughs> Blunt, do you want to try a nature check? Sure, I'll try. It's not your turn, so yeah, I might as well. Since yeah, we're we're rolling completely. You're like he already went. Goldie went. You're like yeah, I think they're lizards. (laughs) 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 Yeah. um, Yeah. So you said yeah, I think they're lizards, and Blunt goes, I'm pretty sure of it. And I get, I just give. And that's about as much information as I. I give him a thumbs up and then I touch my face where he burned it. All right. So the first cobalt is once again going to attack Blunt. Where's my 20 sided die? I don't know. He missed. Not there. <laughs> Aren't you funny? Second one moves back up. I'm so itch- at Eel. Ooh. And he strikes his spear. Oh, no. And does eight damage. Oh, Lord. Okay. I got to I got to start. Like pulling my weight here, right? Um, That'd be nice. I'm getting I'm getting kind of creamed now. <laughs> By uh, on all three fronts. Oh, I'm trying to like I have a couple spells where I I don't really exactly remember what they do. Remember at the beginning of the series when you're like, man, you can't kill anything. Look at us now. Yeah. Can y'all still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, because I'm getting like the disconnect from Discord sound. Ooh, that's my internet sound. is trash. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Sudden Link. You're garbage. Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> we have to say due to the FCC. Uh, <laughs> you... <laughs> All right, I'm I'm gonna use one of my. Uh, so gray means daily, right? No, you need. Gray is utility, I believe. Yes. No. Gray is... Um, There's at will, encounter, and daily are the options. Green is at will. I thought what, red what was... What are you looking at? Curse of the Dark. Um, that is daily. Okay. I'm just going to check the box. I can't check the box. I cast Curse of the Dark. Mm, da, ba, 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 ba. What, you wanna, you, that is that is the most powerful spell in your book, and you can only use it today. Fine, I will use dreadful word instead, and yeah, I will don't cast use that. These baby lizards. And he's gonna. I'm gonna cast that on the one in front of me. I accidentally clicked it twice. I think. Oh, I'm glad we went with that first one. Holy cow! Are you kidding me? You almost got another hard critical. Wow. You went from a critical success. To critical fail. <laughs> okay, so the first one I did was great, and that's <laughs> that's what counts, I think. Uh, I didn't mean to hit it twice. <laughs> that literally looks like you did it, and you nailed it, and you went, yeah, and then you, like, failed. <laughs> you're, like, You're, tripped. like, oh, no. <laughs> I did it. Uh-oh. That's so funny. Oh, my God. I whisper one word of an unthinkable cosmic secret to my foe. His mind reels in terror. You know what that word was? Pluto's not a planet? Yes. <laughs> Pluto, you're still a planet in my mind. Car Sagan didn't say anything that bright. That, say, that was the one right in front of you? Right? Yeah, directly in front of me, yes. Okay. So, I mean, he's pretty close to being dead, I imagine. But, uh... Mm. That might be another check. Nope. To get rid of that. That's pretty yeah, big. Yeah. He's dead. And a He's comet dead. comes. Oh, sweet. I'm excited. He's dead. I'm pumped. So I just roll in and I'm just going to light this guy on fire with dragon's breath. Mm, yeah. Uh oh. You miss. You roll a critical fail and you burn some trees around you, but you don't do any damage to any allies. Thank God. Because that would remind me of the glass factory. Um, but I started a California fire. <laughs> it's a controlled burn. Uh, <laughs> this is this is an American game. We're not playing in California. Mm. 
There's a comment. <laughs> oh man, the one guy who's watching is just immediately left. He's like Cali for life, bro. West Coast, best coast. Baby. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you prefer us to stick to fictional lands. Well, I mean, we're sticking to canon, but we also throw in some references. To... No, nobody's going to do that. <laughs> no, nobody's going to tickle the DM's pickle. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, anyways, okay, so you can roll so for one that. More monster left. <laughs> one more lizard like thing. All left. right, um, so what's he do? Because it's his turn. Oh, it is his turn. Yep. Once again, attacks Blunt, and he misses. Thank because God. His AC is through the damn roof. Oh, thank God. Yeah, because I benched 350. That's why he's the tank, and I'm the squishy. And it, it's, it's not like bench. You know, sets of 10. It's like sets of 24 yeah. to 30 without breaking a sweat. Some weak sets still. Okay. It's it's weak to him, yeah. He's, he's, he's part dragon. He is part dragon. I mean, watch him on the hugging machine, and he just... <laughs> you know, I got to say, I was using that the other day because I'm trying to... Work, uh, I'm trying to work my underpecks, and so I've been like doing deep. Pine, what the deep hell is an underpeck? My, my... First off, first off, underpecks is not a thing. Uh, second off, there is a muscle there. It's not called underpecks. And the second is, I, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Please continue with your story. You know, just, I, I really enjoy using uh, the deep because it it really kind of targets that. <laughs> Notice I called it decline press and not synonymous with the hugging machine. Oh, okay, okay. It kind of cut off. I, when I you said it. So I thought I you said called it. I could have called it. You know what? You know what its name is. I thought you could have called it lay down. Do you want to know what its what its names are? What its name is? My name what is what? My name is mm, my name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Error, error. Okay, so we still got <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> We are off the rails. J Rock up in Moncton. Lord, you've been watching way too much Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> okay, let's continue. He did no damage. It's my turn, right? Right. Yes. All right. I target the remaining lizard. Lizard as, thing. Yeah. As we're. Because we're not sure. Yeah. I mean, we're sure, but we're just kind of wrong. Y'all are sure, but your characters aren't, and you can't. I mean, your characters don't know because they're not smart enough. To... I am the character. <laughs> I am the Goldie liquor, Randy. There Goldie we go. Goldie and I are the same. Hey, there you go. Goldilocks attempts to fire a bolt of dark, crackling, eldritch energy at the lizard thingy. <laughs> and successfully strikes and kills him. It's, yes. it's a shit lizard. I immediately in that, pull out. In that see. instance, in the quiet, dark night... You hear a slight moaning from behind you. Glass factory. No. <laughs> no. Moaning, not not. Oh, yeah. okay, not haunting memories. I, I gotcha. He's about to do another spell. I'm about to do a backflip. Acrobatics check. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. Your rolls have been perfect. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I, I'm it. going. I'm going. I'm going. This. Oh, I will roll for you. I just did it. Jeez. Oh. Not a critical oh. fail. <laughs> no, so you you, you kind of you, you flip, but you kind of do that cartwheel pussy shit in the middle of it. So and I just like, I recover and I do a dab, and everyone's ashamed of me. I'm like, no, the I'm dab like, is only. I'm sorry, the dab is only allowed for people who uh, who roll criticals. So critical fails or critical success. I think it's, I think well, it's a critical so fail. Dab on fail. Well, I reconsider it. Let the record show that I immediately saw his flip, saw how bad it was, and then I flipped. You had to, like, one up me. Okay. 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 I did a one-handed. One-handed, um, right. The moaning still continues from behind. <laughs> right. What is it saying? Yeah, it, no, there, no, it's right. just a, it's a groan. Hello? It's, it's uh, a, are there zombies? Hello? Let's loot these dudes real quick and get oh, out yeah, of here. I go over. I chop off their hands, put them on. Let me get them in my inventory. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, hello. All right. Hello. 
you hear the groaning? It's getting louder. Tree? Is this like a hot and cold thing? It's getting louder. Okay. Tree. It's in the, it's the moaning. Not the tree. Okay. Oh gosh. I, I, it actually might be close to me. Um, Hello. Oh, it's wait. it's. Wait, I see someone. What? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, do you see that sweet split? I did it better than Goldie, right? He's like, I don't the know. man looks at you, and you realize that it's the first mate, Bjorn. <gasps> Bjorn! Hey, why is hey. he so big and red? Hey, Lying Bjorn. on his deathbed. Oh, you don't look too good, bud. How effective are these healing potions? Either, he says. How effective I are these healing my potions? Sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't, and... don't mercy oh. kill him. Bjorn, do you want me to mercy kill you, bro? In due time, he proclaims. He says, but All first, right. I must tell you something. Okay. Wait, can I do a heal check? Can I see if I can heal him? Yes. We have potions, man. Uh-oh. You can't heal him. Okay, I, I use a potion. All right, I raise the sword again. I use a healing potion. Excuse me. He's like, I wasn't expecting he that. He uses a healing potion. And you notice his wounds start to do a little bit better. But he is still exhausted from the experience. All right. Blunt's going to have to carry him. And then I hear kill. I raise my sword again. No, no, no. Goodbye, Bjorn. <laughs> you were a brave sailor in the lands of the seas. He now says... you must face your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a mercy killing song. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't have a mercy killing song? The, right. uh, How dumb uh, the first mate Bjorn, uh, and, and that's actually his first name, don't you know? Is uh, first mate. He was born first mate Alphadeus Bjorn. Uh, what if, anyways, what if he had become like a stripper or something? Or well, then a it, cobbler that, or a baker or any other <laughs> profession that's not. Some first say he thing. was destined <laughs> to be a seaman. Anyways, Anyways um, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. The first pun uh, of this pirate campaign. Anyways, uh, I'm going to so, roll and see if it did well. Yeah, hey, yeah, it, it landed pretty well. Congratulations. 16. Nice. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. It's not Is that great. how we're it's, determining this? It's a D20 for joke it. quality? Let's see how much my laugh should be. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, okay, so uh, Bjorn looks at you and says, please, I'm too tired, I need to rest, I'll be safe against this tree, but I must warn you that you are unchar on uncharted lands off the coast of Corodia. Oh, so we're on Corodia. He says you are in Corodia, but you are not on Corodia. Oh. He says you are within the kingdom, but you are not... On the kingdom. What is this, like some sort of phase change, like alternate reality type dealio? You said you are... Think of Corodia as a archipelago. Or a oh, game. You so... are not on the main island, he okay. says. Okay. You so are on like an a... island that has not has, has been... Uh, that was once a developing port city, but has since fallen to ruins... Due to, and he says, well, it's just an urban legend. And he kind of pauses. Do you know what those lizard things are? <laughs> <laughs> Rolls. <laughs> he says, they're kobolds. Okay, I think we knew that uh, earlier. Okay, but... good, because I, I, I've matched them up with their fingers to the other fingers. And I put it in his face. Yeah, they're cobalt. Now, so you're saying this place in... is a gangplank to the other plank. We already, we already explained this to you. <laughs> he's he's I'm... watching you two converse as he says, this is very concerning that they're cobalts. Mm. How so? Could they have been Colgate? Well, <laughs> total. if Colgate, total. you didn't know, cobalts often dwell near dragon's lairs. <gasps> Maintaining a safe distance, but sacrificing offerings to their gods. Most dragons ignore them, as crocodiles ignore birds that pick its teeth clean. 
But once in a while, however, a young dragon takes interest in a kobold cult, which then becomes a real menace to the dragon's enemy. These monstrous beings are also skilled at making traps, which they are which they use to capture their prey and acquire sacrifices for their dragon lords. Mm. So we should an intimidation check because I'm gonna go, and I go. Where's the dragon? Where's my mom? <laughs> he, even though you intimidate him and scare him, he knows not of a dragon on this island. Don't Only worry. The fact that kobolds worship them. You'll get your movie just like Han Solo. <laughs> can I, uh, for the record, because I rolled kind of badass, can I throw him against the tree and knock him unconscious? We're not done talking to him. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Let me. I don't know. Let me check. Oh, yeah. man. Yes. <laughs> I, I go, guess it's all the info we mother. get. <laughs> I need to find my mother. And I throw him against the tree and he knocks him out. What are you, like an angsty teenager? <laughs> I've lived my entire life without my mother. <laughs> yeah, me too. We're both orphans. Yeah, but I didn't get to see them brutally get burned alive. I've been living without one. <sighs> Better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. I suppose, yes. says a I mysterious voice. said that on many voices. <laughs> he, he literally said that as he was, like, knocked unconscious. Der, der. <laughs> but all you could understand was... Her, 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 her. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, Bjorn. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, be, be careful. He mentioned traps. Nah, we're fine. No, I, I don't think we're fine. Um. <laughs> Hello? Mom? Mom? And immediately you're snapped into a snare trap, and you are hung upside down. <laughs> Goldie, help me! Goldie, I go to, help I go to free him. Do, do, do. Goldie! I'm gonna let you hang for a Goldie, minute. Goldie, this tree's attacking me! I'm gonna let you... Goldie, attack the tree! The loud noise has a war... Or uh, has... A weird? Uh... Weird? Has alerted your position. Alerted, alerted, yes. Alerted nearby monsters to your position. Nearby kobolds. You can hear their grunting in the bushes. Scatter! Only help me, this tree! Alright, I chop him down. Um, Ugh, with I my fall. hand. And then I do a sure strike against that tree for attacking me. Well, I haven't... I have to, nice. like... I have to do the the skill check first, I think. Oh, yeah. Do your skill check, but let the record show that I attacked the crap out of that tree. I'm gonna Jimi Hendrix this, this contraption. Um, is this a... Uh, what, what check is this? To, to, to what? To get him to out of his rope. trap. <laughs> you just to, need to not... Just do any power and just... Do, make you, sure do you have it. any sort of blade? I'm going to use the edge of my hand. You're going to karate, 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 karate chop it. I told you I was going to Jimi Hendrix it. I chop it down with the edge of my hand. I, 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 I'm in the air at least 10 feet. I know. I'm going to jump up. I'm going to judo chopping with my... Holy cow. You're like Naruto. I, I guess, yeah. I'm not familiar with this Naruto character. So in a dark purple haze, you chop him down with your hand. Nice. That's, That's because I don't know what I don't I don't know what check with that. that it's would voodoo I child. Guess, I'll do. A I guess a strength check would would work. No, it just. <laughs> God. So you know, don't yeah. Worry. So in, in the in the immediate attempt to take him down, you yourself are pulled off to the side by another trap. Oh my god! <laughs> and I go seriously. After what? I, so I do. <laughs> I stand up next to a mountain. And I chop it down with the edge of my hand. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just do a heavy sigh, and then I do a athletics, an acrobatics check to see if I can flip up and grab the branch. So I do like a sweet, like, Rocky three style sit-up. Yeah, which is great if you, you know, 
were more focused on your ab and core workouts as opposed to your, you know, lifting. Well, we'll see. We'll see with this roll. We'll see if I did it. Course week. Course week. Oh. You successfully reach on, grab onto the branch. And I go, I look back at uh, Goldie for saying core's weak, and I go, well, hey. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll I'll acrobatic out of this Take some it bitch. Easy, Jordan. Yeah, all right. Yeah, why don't you acrobat yourself will. out of that? I will. Boom. As I'm stalling away at the ropes. You are on the ground, so it doesn't take much for you to untie yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I did this sweet like flip up to try to grab it and well, I mean, I was just on the ground. It's like Let the record show I then attacked the tree. I mm. nailed that tree. That tree is dead. You successfully hit the tree. That's he, what you get for attacking He lumberjacked the ball, it. Son. You see what I did that tree? You lumberjacked it. Okay. Whew. Goodness, that was a bit unnecessary. But well, Mom? I mean... Mom? Mom? <laughs> Back to the search. Mom? <laughs> oh, no. Mom, that doesn't oh. look good. Oh. Uh, Mom? Mom? The adventurers come across a campsite that has been recently abandoned. <laughs> like, Let's it loot it. Like, my, <laughs> foot is touching, my foot is touching the tent, and I'm like, shh, get down, get down. <laughs> Quiet. Um, I will stealthily yeah, you, loot. Yeah, why don't you... Yeah, you know, why don't you stealthily seduce everyone in there? No, no I'm gonna. <laughs> he said it was abandoned. <laughs> well, there might it be appears there. to be ba abandoned. Okay, yeah, well, I, I'll, anyway. I'll do a quick stealth check to see if it indeed is abandoned. My stealth is very piss poor. Uh, well, you can stealth check all you want. Remember the screaming of the traps. You've alerted your position. Yeah, and I've been screaming mom for like 20 minutes, so... Fine, I check the tent. <laughs> Inside the tent, you find a couple bedrolls that are uh, custom for small lizard folk. Uh, and Nothing half... ever fits! <laughs> You're half your size. Everyone's half our size, we're always fighting halflings. Like... Yeah, we're always <laughs> giant. Well, we're only level four. Yeah, okay, fine. Whatever. What else is in there? I'm sorry. And then there's a chest. I bet it's spring loaded with snakes. Well, why don't you we want to break into it? Or we um to... I will do a I kind of want to open the chest, but in a way that does not spring any potential traps. That's you can always do like a perception check. That's a perception, thievery... Is, is this thievery. a... Okay, I will pose this question better. Is this a chest... Okay, so this is a d20, right? I have 16 thievery perception. Check. Thievery? Do a thievery. Yeah, no. you're trying to break into the chest. No, perception. Oh, uh, perception, perception would be the are you room. Looking or are you thievery would be... Um, thievery would be lockpicking. Perception would be to determine if there are any wires or anything that would appear to be in a, a, a trap. All right. Well, my perception is a 16. I should go with that, I think. I'll do a d20 here because it won't let me. Oh, here. I'll do it for you. Too late. Oh. What's up I with this chest? Out. We Did we just roll the same? Yeah, you did. Well, so you rolled a 19. I rolled a total of 19. So for you, it's 19 plus whatever the modifier is. Um, but 19 is good enough. You notice that there are traps around it. There, there are? Are none. Okay, let, let's get in there, Blunt. All right. Let's do what uh, we do best. Looting and pillaging. Open, break it open. So inside you find <laughs> two candles okay. and five gold pieces. Oh man, Eight. this is a haul. I'm so glad I spent all that time worrying about it. <laughs> Five gold pieces. Woo, woo, woo. Candles. Oh yes, I got a candle. Oh, you know what? I'm 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 just gonna give myself one gold piece because I'm sick of these odd numbers. I'm gonna take his gold piece. Fine. So now I have an even number. <laughs> and two candles, you say? 
only taking one? Yeah, because I was at five ninety nine. I just I don't know. No, Math three ninety nine. <laughs> Sounds like the price of Sucker. a pair of socks. Sucker. Oh, there's another. I, I just walked into a. Literally, I, I was walking away going sucker, and I literally fell into another tent. Hopefully, there's no one in it. What's in this one? Just bed rolls. Okay, we don't care about that one. Let's. Um... And in that instance, the two adventurers hear the sound of blaring war horns, <gasps> and through the bru- br- uh, through the bushes, out come soldiers. Of the boing, 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 boing. Soldiers of the Dragon Army. Oh, they're they're tier tier uh, left. Blunt. What? Where are they? Oh shit! They're coming from everywhere. We're fucked. Where are they? I can't see them. It's an ambush. They're in the trees, man. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up to him. Hi. Uh, I believe your leader. Oh, is it's a blue dude. Oh, he is blue. I'm going to walk up and be like, hello, sir. I'm here to visit your leader. She is my mother. I don't think they speak whatever language it is that we speak. Oh, I'll, I'll speak it in their dialect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm I, sure you're just going to offend them further. <laughs> he casts a spell against you and does 10 damage against the dragon boy. Ow! <laughs> Oh, I need to put my damage back up to 32 again. So wait, are you seeing more? Okay, how many are you seeing? I, I just, well, like, right yeah, now I see I two. Only see, I only see one. Uh, there's one below in... Well, okay. you're probably not that... Yeah, he's right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like, I have no problem with it. Like, this is actually kind of cool. Just like, oh, oh, God, you're in trouble. Can we surrender? <laughs> I'm looking for my mother. <laughs> Can we, like, go down on our knees and put our hands up and just kind of, like... No, we need to take one prisoner. Okay. okay so Do the so... adventurers want to surrender? Uh, well, there's four of them. I don't... He just did eight damage to you. No, he did ten. Or ten, yeah. I mean, that's, like, three hits for me, basically. So you're wussing out on me? <sighs> I mean... What do you think, man? Uh, I hold my, I hold as my a finger. dungeon master, my intention is not to kill you yet. I'm a, I put my finger up to the blue guy and I'm like, "Can you give us a minute? Are you are you listening out on me right now?" I the kobolds s- miraculously wait. Are you listening out on me right now? Because we're, we're I say screw problem. it. I cast on the blue dude my most powerful spell. I give him a curse of the dark dream. I hope, it does. I hope it doesn't have an AoE. Ooh, that's a crit. That's a big roll. If it hits. I don't know what I don't know what the blue box means. I don't either. Um, I think it means because it's like a oh like a eight plus one plus one. It, I'm seeing a green, so I'm assuming it's like good. Let me. But it depends on how much he rolls. Mm. If you can outdo that 10. So, I inflict a waking nightmare upon the enemy so that he can no longer tell what is real and what exists only in his mind. Under its influence, he staggers about, trying to avoid falling from imaginary heights. You know what his nightmare is? Pluto seeing not being a planet. His, seeing all his... <laughs> of course. <laughs> but also seeing all his brothers and sisters' hands on some shield of some half lizard half human thing. He's like a very proud Zaf Brannigan looking dragon born dude. That's a hell of a reference. <laughs> like really really yeah, short skirted. with a woman. Inform the men. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so within that, that amount of damage the lizard shakes his head back and forth violently and falls over to his death into the brush. Oh. Nice. Oh, thank God, my most powerful spell one hit him. I mean, <laughs> it's the most powerful spell. Yeah, I go sweet, and I immediately sure strike the guy next to me. This guy. Twenty-one versus AC. You not... slice his head off completely and clean. Oh, man, we're kicking it today. Mm. Slink. I can't believe I used that spell. These guys are weak. 
Uh oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And there's a dragon nearby, and you you wasted it on this. That's a that's a day spell though, so I just have to wait a day. So we could like take a Don't nap worry. outside the lair. That's my mother. It's my mother. I'll I'll calm her down, and we'll have cookies. I'm I'm gonna seduce her. I'm gonna be your daddy. You're not my stepfather. <laughs> What? I've been picking up not, Dragon lately not my through Duolingo. You are not my stepfather. All right, so to the you. south, We're gonna first, sword, first swordsman misses, the second swordsman also misses. Man, Goldie, you lucked out. I did luck out. Lucky for them, they get to meet their maker. Are you sure he's not at disadvantage? Because he's kind of surrounded? Or he needs to be completely surrounded. I hit the guy on the left. Or, on yeah, towards the west. Well, I, I, I'm still kind of confused about the the whole green box. Because you would think... I think it's just because it was supposed to just be eight or six. I'm sorry. So it's like a, a crit of sorts. It's six. Yeah, it was, like a, it was a big hit. A heavy hit. Yeah. Well, my, my question is... It doesn't make sense that it would be in the damage. It's no, it is a crit in the damage section. Yeah. All right. But not it, the 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 way a critical works is you roll the twenty sided dice, so the first number has to be in a box. Maybe this one has a more advanced system. Well, right. fuck that. We're not doing that. <laughs> well, I mean, so we're not going to follow. Well, the so no, so the way this works, I'm what I'm looking at is the hit will show green if it's at its max. If you see right there, uh, you, you roll the six, which is the total, like the maximum amount on a d6. Okay. Or if you go to fifteen, you roll the maximum amount on the d8. However, you had two singles because you were rolling. So you rolled a one, a one, and an eight. That's why it gave you a blue. And if we go all the way up to where you kept on failing, you rolled a one out of six. However, it's supposed to be, so you rolled a 19 out of a D20. Okay. Hey, can you change the title to Roll 20 Tutorial? Doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you rolled a 14 plus five, basically. For the versus reference, or not reflex, reference. not so reference reflex, reflex. Yeah. So if you had rolled a one, that would be a critical fail. If you had rolled a twenty, it would have been a critical success. Does that make right. sense? So yeah. I'm like in between still. So yeah, with so you, I guess. Do you understand what's happening? Because I'm kind of just. I understand what happens. Basically, there's a crit and. Fail so, for, for both damage and ig ignore uh, the green and red boxes on your hit. Okay. Scroll over to the 19 and where it says at the bottom 14 plus floor, four divided by two plus floor, blah blah blah. The yeah. first number is a roll is a D20 roll. So if that 14 was a 20, you would do double damage. If it was a one, you would fail critically. Okay. And then in between sense? it depends on Right. Okay. Yeah, so that's you fine. Could, you could roll. Technically, you could roll a one, but it wouldn't show up as a one because it's going to add up all your modifiers. So it'd be like a six. Right. Yeah. But that's part of it. Is you do have modifiers. Yes, but so it keeps there's... me from critically failing. No. So oh okay, on, I could still critically fail on even though there's okay. Two, there's a success and there's a major fail. There, and that is always absolute. Oh, you okay. can have a 300. I don't care what your modifier is, but if you rolled a one, you failed. That's a, okay. That's fine. That's just because it, it makes the game. You can't become gods, basically. There's still a chance of failure. Darn it. Well, okay. What did I do now? Uh, you killed. Uh, well, what did you do? Was that an AOE? No, um, I did Hellish Rebuke, which is kind of like a flame attack. I equated to a firebolt. His fingers, and his foe is scoured, Hellish Flame, stoked by his own anger and pain. And if I take um, damage in the next turn, that target takes 1d6 plus constitution fire damage. So the one to the south has been killed. I was the attacking one... the one on the left. So the one on the left has been killed. Okay. 
We'll move him out of the way a little bit. Oops. Ah, I, I was ambushed by a zombie. And he successfully hits what, a zombie. 10 damage. But in return, catches himself on fire and does. What is your constitution modifier? Mine? Yes. Let's see here. Shaka, 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 shaka. Um, three. So in one final blow, after attacking you, he burns up and dies. Hey -o. Whoa. And then I get really mad because I'm like, oh, that's one hand down. Then I go and I grab a blue hand. Do we kill them all? Are they all dead? Yep. Oh, okay. And wanted to surrender. Well, Although that would have been a very interesting gameplay. Well, I wasn't sure how powerful they were. Obviously, they're a bunch of wet paper towels. Blue hand and two more. So I mean, I kind of freaked out because he was blue. I don't know why. but uh, I didn't make them any less powerful. I just decre I, I, I basically quartered their... That's all right. We had no knowledge. We thought they were maybe lizards. Maybe lizards. <laughs> well, so, okay. Oh. So we, we've, um, we've thwarted the threat. I clean my blade on the grass after cutting off. I go to the blue guy's hand. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> this guy's hand. Chop, chop, chop. And then I try to go to this guy's hand, but it's pretty much toast. And I'm like, tasty. Okay, where were we? Oh, yeah. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Let's so if you want to if you want to rest a day, you'll have to use a day's worth of rations. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's, but you I'm, will. We sleep in separate tents. Yeah, we're going to utilize the tent. tent. I'm utilizing the tent. I haven't had a roof over my head in months. So yeah. the adventurers go to sleep. I'm sleeping with all their bodies. Like, Let me take out a day of rations here. I have 18 days of rations. We traveled for how many days before this on the boat? You were fed on the boat. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. All right. So I'm at 19 days of rations. What a nice cruise. All right, I'm going to try something real quick. It's called Global Illumination, and it's because it is daytime. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to see if this, this will work. Mm -hmm. um, God, I hope it does. You can change it back to the Roll20 tutorial. Here we go. Trying it new. All right, so it is now daytime. Right. Okay, yeah, that actually that actually works out pretty well. So it is daytime now. So now you guys should be able to see just about everything, right? Yep. All right. I step over the dead body. And I go, Goldie, it's time to wake up. I go over. No, it it's too early. I go, okay. I go, hey, Bjorn, are you up yet, bud? <laughs> That's he right. We just left him over there. <laughs> Jordan is still asleep. Jesus I'm surprised Christ. the wolf didn't eat him in the night. I go, all right, Bjor. And I, I, I whisper in his ear, sweet dreams. Oh, my God. And then, da, I, da, da, da. And okay. then I come back and I go, hey, are you well rested now that you used the most extreme spell I've ever seen in my entire life on a lizard that was kind of blue? Yeah, and luckily it's been a day, so I can use it again. Good. So, <laughs> look, I don't know if my mom's going to be happy with what I've done with my life, especially because now I'm kind of... Well, you know how dragons are super judgy. I know, they, they're dragon ladies. So I'm hoping that I'm able to talk my way out of it, but you, we may need that on the, on the, on the back. I only know like offensive words in the dragon language, and I'm going to use them all. Just don't know, just <laughs> let me do all the talking. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Mom. We should kind of figure out where we're going. Um Mom. Oh, it's dark over there. I don't like that forest. It's too dark. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure where we should So to uh to the east there is some small mountain ranges. 
and to the west is a coastline that I have not yet to. Did we go to the mountain range? <laughs> and the adventurers are off to the mountain range. <laughs> I think my mom will be in the mountains. Yeah, she's not much of a tanner. No. Oh, like she isn't uh, tan. Not yeah. no, she's a right. dragon. She's not a somebody tanner. named Tanner. No, I was saying she was part. No, of I was the, thinking the profession. Like yeah, I was oh, the profession yeah, too. she That's doesn't do no, leather working. <laughs> Her her right, claws. So the, adventurers, the adventurers travel uh, towards the mountain range. Uh, upon nearing the mountain range, they notice two torches that are lit and a guardless entrance into the mountain. Guardless. I immediately go into it and I'm yelling, Mom. I won't keep saying it to save your viewers, but I'm just screaming. <laughs> God. You, and I'm you crying. know, it's, what's funny is uh, I think one of you actually has a pretty decent stealth check, but I don't think you'll ever be able to use it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. So. Because I know uh, it's not me, so that's why I'm like, <laughs> I don't even waste it. One uh, second. I'm so glad I put all these points into stealth. Well, you need to talk to me. Actually, no, it is you, man, because my no. stealth is four. My stealth is four as well. Is it really? Uh, well, then her stealth is minus just shitty. Minus four minus one. Wait, hold on. Uh, Goldilocks, on your stealth, it should say two in your modifier. Yeah. Not so, one. So no, three. Minus... So what? This is 12? Well, because remember your feet. It adds two to everything that you don't have trained. So go down. As far as the modifier? The yeah, so okay. add two to that. So, uh, okay, so I mean, I've got 12 stealth then. Yeah, um, I'm a, I'm a, like, so I should add two as a modifier then. Um, oh, I think I messed it up. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm screaming mom. I yeah, don't care hold, what you're doing. I'm hold screaming on, I'm, mom. I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching Drew mess this up. I'm going to see if I can... <laughs> it, well, I put a zero and it was like code... It's like when you do something wrong in Excel, it's just like, you know, it just. Error. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't know what else to do. Okay, so. Uh, it's fine now. You, it's at. Do you want to go into this, this dungeon? Oh, crap. I can't see anything. Um, I hit the back button by accident. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like given Blunt's actions, stealth isn't an option at this point. Okay, so the uh, adventurers walk into the dungeon and uh, yelling and screaming. Basically. Well, he's yelling and screaming. I'm just kind of thinking about the glass factory pensively. All right, can you see anything? Uh, nope, it's just darkness. I see my character, but there's no fog of war. It's just my character in like a black void. Like my dreams. Ah. <laughs> Mom. Oh boy! It's so dark in here. It's well, it's not supposed to be that dark. I think I might have messed up the the global lighting. Yeah. Okay. How about now? Fog of War. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm facing the door because I like to enter caves backwards. Oh my god! I got it to work. <laughs> I like to I'm enter caves genius. backwards. Oh. You are a genius. So is Thank Flubber, you. but you know. Okay, settle down. <laughs> Rest in peace, Robin Williams. All right. Mom! Mom! Are you saying mom in, like, our tongue or dragon tongue? Mom! Oh, you just stumbled right. upon a baddie. Mom! <laughs> Nicole comes out and attacks you. Did they have initiative? Well, you guys ran down screaming, so he was prepared for you. Okay. And does 10 damage to Blunt. Shoves his sword Ow. into the right portion of uh, his collarbone, collarbone area. Because, again, I walk up to him very casually like, Hi, excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my mom. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I cast a spell or do I need to roll for initiative? Uh, I think it would be Blunt first and then you. Okay. Go for it, Blunt. So I'm not happy. I wish I could type like these macro, because I, I like the effect the macros have, but I don't want to go to my character sheet every time to use it. 
Uh, so I can I can see about making macros. For no, you, no, 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 no. All you have to do is type in like. I think there there should be like a slash spell one something like that, or slash. I I don't know, but I I can look into that. So all you have to do is type it out. Or better yet, um, there there should be an option to where I can actually put it underneath your name, a little bar where you you click the button, so you don't have to go to your spell book. Eh, we'll we'll do that later. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but okay, what are you going to do, Blunt? I sh I stabbed him. Oh. I did a strike. Effectively. I did a twenty-four. Versus AC. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 24 against AC. Sorry, I, I was looking at something. Distracted. Um, <laughs> by me, probably. So You do 12 damage. Or, uh, or 10 damage, rather. Okay, he's still alive. I will utilize Hellish Rebuke once I get that pulled up here. Oh, I was already there. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it could be worse. Nine against three. Nine? What is going on? You miss. Drawing his sword again. He misses. Hmm. Lucky. Oh, thank God. She's so lucky. Right She's a star. A into his face. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Indubitably. Right, no, you, you still hit him. You just only dealt six damage. And in that six damage, you successfully take his head off. Mm. Oh. He was a bit of a bitch, wasn't he? Oh, thank God. Then I go through again. I chop off his hand. Put it on. Is this one blue? This one's regular, right? He's very methodical with his hand choppings. No, I can see that. I need it. All right. Now, where were we? Hmm. What I love is... Uh, Goldie hasn't stopped me from just screaming. <laughs> I mean, you already did it, so it's like, you why not? It, you haven't like gone and been like, hey, maybe your mom's not in here. You're just under the assumption. Well, I feel like you open are under doorway. the assumption, but... Is, um... this doorway, is this an open doorway? No, that, that door is closed. I put my shoulder through it? We're in it. Oh, you're not supposed to be in it yet. I yeah, mean... don't... Sorry. I okay. do. Uh, what was right. that, you know, athletics check? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes. Put my shoulder into it. Okay. He's uh, a... The door is fast, like very secured. Okay, <sighs> but I just walked through it. But <laughs> no, like, yeah, you're not. I'm to kidding. Be I'm kidding. Okay, let's go north. You do. All right. <laughs> All right. Going north. You find two more kobolds ready to fight emerge from the darkness. The first one deals six damage. The second one does one. So a total of seven damage against gold. Ooh, that's not good. And I'm like, hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> I, I don't know. So I'm just throwing this out there. I've been sitting on my foot for a while, and I just took it off. My leg hurts. Rip. I smell toast. Oh, you sh probably... <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding, oh, kidding. Okay, kidding. that's not good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so yeah, that's that's seven damage against you, Baldy. I mean, Goldie. Baldy. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, man? You trying to post up here? We're going to throw bows. I'm about to fight the DM. Alright. You know what? I don't like these guys. 
<laughs> yeah, they don't like you either. Well, I mean, they're in my dungeon, so... It, it, okay. That's on them. Um, powers. I'm going to cast... <laughs> I, I kind of want to just try using this spell, because I've never used it before. I'm going to use... No, it's probably not useful in this situation. Um, it? I'm just... Ethereal stride? Yeah. I feel uh, like... Ethereal stride is a transportation. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a blink. Um, yeah. You can blink behind them and get out of their way. You can blink, but... You know. I... Well, because I feel like the rolls won't reference that. But anyways. Um, I cast Hellish Rebuke. And I cast that on the left one. Or no, the right one. The right one. The right one has been dealt to you. Has been dealt six damage. Boom shakalaka. I pulled my sword. Pacha. On the one near me, on the left one. You pull out your sword and you successfully... Successfully what? Chop his head off. Ooh. Were you all able to see the blood? I did see the blood, yes. The blood or the blood? The blood. blood, 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 blood. Yeah. My lips stuck together because they're dry. Yeah, I'm I'm out of liquor as well. Okay, so that's one down, one to go. Oops. <laughs> but in the meantime, through the darkness, a spell is cast. You can hear arcane energy. I matrix it. I do an acrobatic. It is a fiery ball. You said arcane. <laughs> Arcane, sorry, you're right. It is arcane. <laughs> One second. I sense it coming, and I do an acrobatics check. Well, to dodge no, it. It's against. It's against your reflex. Don't What's care. It's your reflex. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Uh, I mean, I'll look it up for you. No, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, it's fourteen. Fourteen. He misses. It shoots. Shoots right by you. Mm-hmm. Which one's alive? The one on the left or the one on the, the right? One on the, right. Uh, the one on the right. Okay. The one on the left, I just smoked. De decapitated. All right, I'm going to do a leg sweep to... Well, it's actually his turn, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He does four damage against Goldilocks. Using his spear, he slices through his weak armor. And does six or four damage. Ay, ay, ay. Rima. No. Uh, let's see. Leaves me at 21. All right. I'm going to go for an eye jab. I'm going to like poke. I'm going to do like, you know, a little peace sign. I'm going to poke them right in the eyes, both of them. What? Okay. So I don't know what I'm gonna do a strength check. Uh, I would go to dexterity because that that's more of yeah, a yeah, that's more of a dexterity check, which would be good for you because you're not very dexter. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like uh, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! It hasn't gone. You well. hit you 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 push his forehead and he snaps it, bites you, and deals one damage. Ay! <laughs> oh, that didn't work in my favor. I was trying to go off book there. All right, let's get not off book, but you know, outside of the the norm. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons with us. Uh, in, uh, welcome. This is a wonderful game where the stories are made up and the health points don't matter. Drew, you just took a thousand ha uh, damage. Boom. What? I'm just, what just I'm happened? Kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. That's more than my HP. <laughs> I'm I'm aware. I know. You're ripped. They're they're 
the health points are made up. I'm I'm literally doing this completely You're, arbitrary. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you, just... you took a damage because he bit you. I, I guess that makes sense. You yeah. Know, no, it does. Thing. It does. Okay. I deserve to be punished for my creativity. Idiocracy. But well, I yeah. mean, whatever you want to call Breaking it. A finger. Well, I just, I just, I saw whatever that was, and I go, what? And I just put my shield down, and I bring it right into his face. You successfully do six damage. After each mighty swing, Blunt brings his shield to bear and uses it to push back the enemy. The enemy trips over, hits his head, and is no more. However, once again, through the darkness, a magic missile is fired through, and you can hear the arcane energy flow through the tunnel. It is uh -oh. shot and fired at Blunt. What is, uh, what is your reflex? My reflex is 15. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no, indeed. Indubitably. It 14 damage. 14. Oh, crap. Wow. That's that's a lot of damage. So who 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 threw that? We don't know. We don't know yet. Um, see him. Mom, why? I'm gonna attack the remaining kobold with a standard spell. But they're both dead. Okay. Well, I'm gonna move forward then. We gotta see who this is. Okay. I use stealth to sneak up on whatever the enemy is. Well, no, he knows we're there. Never mind. That's dumb. So I just go up there to the bone pile, I guess. Oh, it's a little blue dude. You want some more blue fingers, Blunt? Do I, do I want more blue fingers? <laughs> Immediately. I'm excited. I've been cutting stuff off. <laughs> So now I have 10 cobalt hands. Wait, is that blue guy alive? I load the cannons. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I say finish this guy off and then we should... God. We should probably, yeah, take a... Yeah, the cannons are loaded. <laughs> well done. Somewhere, some somehow, cannons are being loaded. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily a farce. I think, I mean, we're, I think we're, fa we're, f we're fading fast, or at least... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to load cannons in a dungeon. <laughs> You're loading cannons in a dungeon. I brought so them the from the raptor. He's alive. It's it's either it's one of y'all's to go. Okay. He, he, he just shot a magic missile, so... All right, yeah. He's going I'll go, there. I'll go. I'm not happy, so I'm going to do a dragon's breath on him. Is that any damage? Okay. He's still standing in Goldilocks. Okay, so as Blunt opens his mouth with the deadly power of his draconic kin, blasts forth to engulf his foe. And it deals eight damage. Goldilocks then points his finger at his foe, scoured in hellish flames, stoked by his own anger and pain. But the record shows his finger burst looked really into weak. the life one more time before they fade away, dealing an additional seven damage. Boom shaka laka. The magician, or the uh, the robed lizardkin, once again fires a magic missile at Goldilocks this time and rolls a natural 20, dealing twice the damage. Rip. Well, hopefully it's not 20 damage. Yeah. Well, is he dead? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rip. Bye, Goldie. <laughs> 12 damage. No, it's only 12 damage. Okay, I'm at 8. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Rip. In peace. 
Some good old dick rip ripping. Wow. So how much is left? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Well, what? I'm a, I, I, I'm terrified now because like I'm alone. I don't think my mom's here. I'm, I'm still sure. alive. I'm not dead. He's, I'm barely he's, alive. He's still alive, but you notice he is doing considerably poor, and he's bleeding a lot, and he is uh. He is staggering a bit. So he is he is badly damaged. I'm going to do a covering attack. Blunt launches a dizzying barrage of thrust at his enemy, compelling him to give Blunt all of his attention. Under the cover of his ferocious attack, one of his allies can safely retreat from, the, from that same foe. The aggro has changed to uh, Blunt. However, with his quick strikes quickly stabs at the heart of the beast, killing him. Yay! Oh, thank God. And I've, I don't know if you guys want to continue or if you want to save this for... It's a good time. stopping point, I think. Um, I think it's a good stopping point. It's a pretty major okay. encounter. Um, let me just update. Because after each battle, we're able to refill our health points. Is that correct? Um... Yeah, I'll allow it. Just because we're we're dealing a lot of damage and there's only two of you. Keep okay. in mind most of these games are set up like groups and parties of four. Yeah. But uh we, we don't have enough friends, I guess. Oh um, friends willing to <laughs> no, do we just this. Keep our I guess. Heads down and uh, uh you know, we, 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 we cower in the corner until that, our... that being said, if uh you know, if if a family member two wants to play, we can definitely accommodate them. Again, me padre, he's 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 ready to go. What uh, what does he want to play? I think he wants, he wants to do a healer. A healer. We could use oh, a healer. Yeah, definitely could use a healer. Well, hey, I tell you what, we'll make him. We'll have to change our language a bit, but yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I'll, I will. Uh, I will try not to curse as much. Well, is this gonna affect my seduction? No, I think you can no, still we'll... seduce, just not as uh, detailed. Oh, we, okay. we can't say we can't continue the vape and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably we shouldn't for the best. continue those conversations regardless. Y um, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, I guess we'll tune in next week uh, to see where the adventurers uh, end up in this wonderful mountainous dungeon. It's like a Pokemon announcer. Tune in next week. <laughs> All right. I don't know if they ever did. I I think I think more of like uh uh, uh like oldies Batman like -le 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 -le, like the screen. Pow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I know what you mean, but I do I do thank y'all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.